Hi, this is a quick video on how to offload data from older computers having an IED drive and uh, like in Windows 95 and 98. I've got a couple of those in the basement and we're going to use this newer tech USB universal drive adapter. So basically what we have are some old computers that are like Windows 95, 98 and uh, Vista and uh, rather than trying to boot these up with the existing towers we're going to take the hard drives out of here put them on the USB universal adapter and plug it into a newer computer and offload the data that way okay let's uh, open this up it's the newer tech USB universal drive and it's for USB 1, 2, 3 and it connects to IDE, ATA, uh, ATA P1 and SATA drives. Okay. First off, we have the adapter that uh, actually makes the connection to the IDE and uh, the SATA connections. Uh, to the USB 2.0 and 3.0 and uh, it has also another adapter okay so if you need an extension usually you can plug this right into the, usually you can take this adapter and plug it right into the back of the drive but if you you need uh, an adapter with a little bit of flex to it you can use this this is the power supply that powers the drive. This is the connection that powers the drive plus the SATA connection into the drive and then uh, this would plug in to the back of the drive and then this plugs in to the back here for your SATA connection. Okay so this goes into the drive. This is connects to the power supply and uh, then this plugs into the wall so we've got power to the drive power to the drive then we take that out and we plug it into the computer with this com with this and this is the uh, USB 3.0 and it's downward compatible to 2.0 and 1.0 according to the the box so this goes into here this plugs in okay and then this plugs into the computer so then you're able to read the drive and uh, it's got power and everything so let's go do it Okay, I brought one of the uh, computers up from downstairs and we're going to open it up and extract the information from the hard drive that's in here. And so let's get started. Okay, take the back panel off, side panel, and the hard drive right here. So we're going to go after the hard drive right here and bring it out. Okay, let's see if we can get this hard drive out of here. Okay, we got the screws out of here. All we do is just lift this right out of here, and it looks like we've got a SATA drive. So we remove the cables and the power supply, and uh, we've got the hard drive. So um, I don't think we even have to remove it from uh, the cradle here. We can probably just extract it right from where it's at. So. Let's do that. 
Okay, well I removed the uh, computer from the area so that we'd have more room to work on. Uh, got it, going to be hooking it up to the Lenovo uh, laptop. So the way this is hooked up is um, you have a power supply over here that's connected to the wall. It comes over here and it has an on-off switch, which is very cool. So you have an on-off switch that goes to the SATA and uh, power supply connect connector. And that goes right in the back of the, of the drive. So it's connected right to the hard drive. Then the SATA comes out here, goes into the, the USB converter box. And then it comes out into a USB 3 and into the computer. So it's a very simple hookup. Okay, we're all, we're all hooked up. So now we'll turn on the computer. And, okay, and then over here, I have another hard drive connected to the Lenovo that will take the data from this hard drive and store it into this hard drive. So we're just going to offload this into the here. Well, once everything is all hooked up, you just look in my computer for the active drive. Clicking on the active drive shows you all the files and folders that are available. <clears throat> then select the folders that you want to move over to the secondary hard drive. And uh, it's just that simple. So um, the thing that makes this all possible is uh, this device right here. It's a USB universal drive adapter. And uh, <clears throat> this USB universal drive adapter is made by newer tech. And so it's very simple. It goes, connects from your external hard drive into the computer and over to the secondary hard drive and you can offload all your files and information and um, it's just that simple. Thanks for watching.